In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Canva to streamline your design process for client work. Hey there, I am Kate Danielle. I am a Canva certified creative and graphic designer. My main mission is to help virtual assistants, social media managers, and service providers up-level their services by up-leveling their design skills. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you some Canva Pro features that I think can really streamline your design process if you're working with clients. But if you're not quite ready for Canva Pro, um, you can definitely do some of the same things in the free version and I will show you the workarounds as well. So I'm just here on the main Canva screen. And if you have Canva Pro, you're gonna come right over to Brand Kit. And you can see I have several color palettes here because you can create one for each client. You'll need to get their color codes, which is these little numbers here. And um, I will link to the video where I can show you how to pull out color codes if your client hasn't provided them with you, but maybe they just provided you some color blocks. Um, but most likely they should have the color codes for you. And you can see, you can just add a new one and name it for your client there. Now you can see here I'm in a design and if I click on something that has a color, I can see all of my color palettes pop up. Also back in the brand kit, if you have Canva Pro, I would go ahead and upload any client fonts that you need to work with. You can't really organize these, but it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna show you how you keep this organized in the actual design process. Now, if you're not on Canva Pro, you're not gonna be able to upload fonts, so uh, make sure that when you're working with clients that either their font, they probably have a font that is in Canva that they use, or make sure it's okay that you use some lookalike fonts. Now, when you're bringing on a new client, I would start out with some sort of base template set. So this is a template set that I sell in my shop. And if I was gonna set this up, so let's say I have a new client um, named Presley, because that's my dog's name. She's hanging out behind me. And I would also note the size. This is actually a story um, templates or pins. So I've already put input Presley's brand colors and fonts and now I wanna set up this uh, template set that I've chosen to sort of just get her started. This doesn't mean these are gonna be the only style of designs I use, but this is gonna be my base for getting Presley's account set up. So first I'm going to click on this rectangle and I've got the pink one because this one's a little bit layered. And let's say that, we'll, we'll just go with that this are Presley's brand colors right here. So we need to change that to this bright pink. And I'm gonna come down here and click change all. Because what that did was anywhere that that pale pink was before, it changed it to the bright pink. And you can always change it again, but this sort of helps you get everything set up. Now I'm going to zoom in so I can select this other color, this teal, which I think is already close to Presley's teal. A little bit different. Change all. Zoom back out. I am going to go ahead and change this to one of Presley's brand fonts. And let's say one of hers is Poppins, which is a Canva font. And you can do the same here, even though that, that's already in Poppins. We're going to leave the button gray because that's an okay color for that. And then you could change this to Presley's website. We're gonna continue on. I'm gonna change the navy to maybe my, uh, to this darker purple or even the black. Let's do the black and do change all. And I've got a, a thin line there. I'm gonna change that. This is, oh, that already changed to our teal. 
And if I decide, hey, I don't want this button to be pink, but it changed before when I changed all, then I could just change it one at a time. But at this process, you don't really have to fine tune anything. One thing you may, it may not change your text colors, so you may have to change text separately. Let's see, Presley uses um, Silver South script, which is an uploaded font. So I'm going to change that. That's already Poppins. This change to the teal color. Make sure everything is saved here. I've got all changes saved. If it's not, go to File and Save. Now, I'm going to come back to our main screen. Oh, I'm going to show you one more thing. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, you're just going to input your client levels in the actual design right here. You're going to click on an element, paste in the design, and you can still click the Change All to that color there below. And you would select the font. So they just wouldn't be pre-populated in there for you. You would actually be selecting and putting them in right here, pasting in the color code. Um, and what's really going to help is once everything is saved and you come back on your home screen, refresh your home dashboard. And Presley's templates are going to be right here. And you can see Presley's stories. Now when I come back into it, or if I go to File, Make a Copy, I'm not going to do that. All of the graphic information is going to be at the top when you click on something. So if I click on my text and I click here, all the fonts that are used here, and if you've changed them all, they would only be the client's brand fonts, are going to be here at top. The same with the color. Now all the colors are at top. So that is useful if you don't have Canva Pro, because once you get these templates set up, then this information follows this around. So now you got some story templates set up for Presley, but you're also going to be making some um, Instagram posts. So I'm going to rubber band select all of that, those things, hit Command C. I'm going to come select the Instagram post size and open up a new tab. And I'm just going to hit Command V and that is going to paste that in. And that would be your workaround for the free version and now you can see I have all the color information and all the font information and now I just need to set up some Instagram templates. Of course in Canva Pro you can actually just use the magic resize, click this button, copy and resize and then you're still going to have to make adjustments to the templates but that saves you copying and pasting each one. So I would set up, set this up for every client and in the different sizes that you need to create. The second thing I would do to really organize my Canva account for client work is to make folders. Now you can make mm, two folders in the free version and I don't know how many, multiple, many, many folders in the pro version. So if you're on Canva, the free version, you may just have one folder called client templates. But in the pro version, I would actually come in, let's click on folders, create a new folder for Presley. Create folder. And right here, I can actually upload some stock photos. If Presley had some that she wants me to use, I can upload her logos right into this folder. So let's pretend this is Presley's logo when it's just a random Instagram post. Um, so that's there. I'm going to come back to my main home and I'm going to click my three dots on Presley's story. I'm going to move it to her folder. And then let's see my Instagram one. Let's refresh. Oh, my Instagram one is this one. It's untitled. Let's go and title this. Let's refresh again. Titling everything appropriately is going to help you stay organized as well. 
And that's still generating, but I'm gonna go ahead and click and move this to Presley's folder. Move here. And you can see I have Presley's folder here on my si the side menu and I can come in and look at everything I have. And if you're on Canva Pro, you can view your folders here as well. So maybe let's say I need to create a new design for Presley, a new size, and it's going to be um, a Facebook post. Even though I would generally just use the square size for Facebook. But I wanted to pick a new size. I'm going to click on folders and I can search or scroll and find Presley's folder and open that up and I have any photos I've uploaded here and the design so I can just click. It's going to open up. Um, oh, I must have only had one design. If you click one that has multiple designs, it's going to open all of them. So let's delete that out. And I can say, oh, I want something like this there. I'm going to click and add it. It's going to pop in that background photo. And then I can just resize and move things around. So that is how I would set up my Canva for client work. That's how I do set it up. Um, ideally, I need to organize my folders because folders have recently been updated. So some of those things I was showing you was very new. You cannot have mixed folders in the free version. That is a Canva Pro feature only. So then I would just keep a folder on your desktop with any images that you need to upload for your client. Um, and again, if you're doing lots of client work in Canva, I would consider upgrading to Canva Pro. But uh, I showed you some free workarounds. Let me know if you have any questions on setting up your Canva account for client success. And have a wonderful day. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, a heart, all the things wherever you are viewing this at.